YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail, coming through with another Air Max unit sneaker. And this one today is the Nike Air Max 97. I've been waiting. I've been hunting. I ain't even been hunting. I just... I, I just was waiting on this joint just to fall into my lap right there. It's just like that that lion on the prow and then that antelope just slowly come to that water hole. And you like, man, I can't wait till you touch that fucking water hole. Take off, take you right by the neck. And that's what I did. That's what I did with this joint. Now, I actually got the box with these. Also, go check out my previous videos as well. My previous sneakers I reviewed as well. Um, um, the Puma sale. Venom joints, uh, the Nike Air Trainer Hirachi Armorillo colorway. I'm looking at them right now. And the Air Max 98 mint green colorway, fresh mint colorway. On foot should already be up. If they're not up now, they're definitely coming soon. They're just going to start dropping out the sky. Uh, let's get into it. The Air Max, yo, like the Air Max people... Like coat following, like they got a definitely they got a hard coat following, bro. Crazy hard coat following. But anyway, that might also include myself, cause you know some Air Max joints, some Air Max units, fly and flames. Let's take a quick look at the box. I actually got these from Nike itself. Uh, not the sneakers app necessarily, but that Nike Plus app or that Nike, the one that's not Nike sneakers, but uh, the regular one. The one, yeah, the one with the deals on it. Because, you know, the Nike sneakers app never show anything for a discount. So I got mine in the 10 and a half. You're probably wondering why, right? Because I wear a size 10 to a size 9 and a half. But, man, with these Air Max 97s, I kind of can't really too much go wrong now. They only had a size 12 left, 13, and a 10 and a half. So by the time I got to these sneakers, man, uh, the 10 and a half was like the closest one left. Now, I already have a 10 and a half um, Air Max 97 anyway, so I know they work for me and I already tried these joints on and everything and I didn't really have to too much uh, Give give it a full two three days worth of wear or whatever, but I will be wearing these joints and I'll probably give an update soon or whatever So feast your eyes on this y'all the Nike Air Max 97 tie-dye joints Now play some music in your head and imagine that like I got like some fly b-roll and y'all like looking at it and y'all like salivating and stuff and y'all like thinking about getting them maybe or y'all just like ah oh, nah maybe it's too much now this this takes this from a particular this takes a particular person but they did sell out or most of them sold out maybe two three sizes left last time i checked we got the white sole up under it but we we'll also get into that as i review this sneaker also too man my my reviews and stuff is kind of more so discussion like a little bit more long-winded uh, um, you know, and that's just the way it is. I don't want to just, obviously you guys can see the sneakers, see that what it's like, right? So I ended up copying these joints. I've been wanting them for a while. Um, but I wasn't going to pay the 180 or was 70 or whatever the hell they wanted first for this. Uh, 180, goodness, man. It's just, the price just get more and more ridiculous. Well, 180 plus tax, like that, that's Jordan range right there. Now they also came out with a tie dye colorway. This was like a pack. They got the uh, 720s like this. They got the Air Force Ones like this. And to me, this was the best model with the tie-dye, right? It'd have been nice if they would have did an Air Max One with tie-dye as well, just to see how that looked. I would prefer it in black, just like this, black and tie-dye. But they also have another colorway, um, another tie-dye colorway, rather, where the tie-dye is actually on the lines of the Air Max 97. And the rest of it is like white. So it's like the inverse of this sneaker. Still with like a white sole as well. I don't know if they was calling those the tie-dye Chicago's or something like that. I don't know. But to me though, these was the best ones. Killer, Flames, Fly. You ain't gonna see nothing like it. A GR being slept on, right? So, let's start off with this kick. I'm already used to rocking a 10 and a half as far as a... Uh, Air Max 97 go like I was saying earlier so I already kind of know how that feel now the new thing with me this is my first canvas based Air Max 97 now other ones are like leather based and patent leather based um yeah so the best way to get something on a sneaker as far as images what I've seen at least with like bands and all those 
Let's put it on a canvas, man. You know, you probably can't really too much do a leather all like this or unless you're doing like some intense work. Then you got to think about mass production, man. If you got to restock or you got to drop a bunch of these, you want to be able to get that money quick and turn them out quick, man. So that's why it's easier, I think, to run with the canvas. The canvas is not a deal breaker. Now, we'll say um, as far as cleaning, though, if these joints get dirty, man, I don't know, man. This sneaker can look terrible and ugly, man. I'm not in the business of getting my sneakers dirty anyway. I wear my stuff casually. Uh, that'd be smooth with these kind of like glow in the dark too. On some parts, it kind of like look like a heat map, like right here, where you got the red toe, got that Rudolph red nose reindeer right here. Now, I was also trying to look too, man, on various other um, models of this or, you know, different pictures of this. If the if we all got the exact same kind of like tie-dye or, every, or did everybody get a certain different, like I got red on my toe right here, right? Now, it's not... It's different for this one slightly. Like this one got more red on it, but if you go and pick yours up or whatever, or somebody else or whatever, I wonder if their red might be right here, but they probably got like a lime green toque predominantly or something, you know? So I know tie dye is just kind of a little bit everywhere. So, you know, you can't expect to get the same results through consistency or whatever uh, uh, with, with the same model. And, you know, I know different pairs gonna range. But looking at this though, man, you, you get reminded of the hippies from the 60s. Uh, you also get reminded of like a nice watercolor, the Borealis lights, or call it the Northern Lights, with a, with a, with a, just Google it or YouTube it. It look fly. It look fly, but I wouldn't go up there to see them unless they could come somewhere where it's not too cold. But they, they really predominantly at the North Pole with the polar bears and all that stuff. And that kind of remind me of that a little. This kind of remind me of this. Uh, this kind of remind me of that. Um, you know the northern lights as they call it so going around and around this is an unusual sneaker it looks very fun but also serious with the black at the same time keep it a little bit more subtle and if you also do an all black outfit these will be hidden like crazy now even though you do got the canvas wrapping all around it in a color you also do have the canvas right behind it in black That's different. Usually this black canvas area where you see the black canvas, usually on most Air Max 97s, that's usually mesh. So yeah, they really deck this out in all canvas. And canvas is also a lightweight. It makes the sneaker very lightweight as well, just like a new buck or a suede. I usually find that the heavier sneakers are like leather and stuff. And another thing too, why it's safer to, uh, you know, even if you go up a half a size on Air Max 97s because they got that embroidered toe box, that really does it for a lot of people. You can definitely feel it when you have it on foot. So whatever you wear in Air Max 97s, get that. At this point, you should already know. Typical Air Max sizing you want to get. I wouldn't too much play the snug game with the Air Max 97s, but as far as the canvas stuff go, you might be able to get away with it if you got a slim foot. But if you got a wide foot, bro, just stop it. Just stop it. You'll be in pain. Just say even in the regular joints like the leather ones, I know you'll definitely be in pain trying to do a snug pinch foot because these again the embroidery at the top of this sneakers actually it's just so you know it's just so constricted right here and restrict I, it's not to put anybody off about buying a sneaker but it's just what you expect with the air max 97 with this embroidery being right here versus a clean toe box um it's not that free moving you know so if you try to move your toes up under it It'll, it'll, it'll feel like tight pause going to the insole though you do have a nice psychic purple I, I was about to call it club purple when I first seen it black psychic purple and white and you also got that fly psychic purple on the top that swoosh never gets old and you also have it embroidered on a black leather pull tongue at the top or pull tab rather Black on black on black, triple black. I'm part of Black Sock Gang, so no sock fuzzies for me. But if you do wear a white sock, they're all, they might appear. It don't. It's not as thick as far as the ankle liner go, um, so you might not get it caught up on stuff. Uh, but I wear black socks. I don't. I ain't worried about that. Going to the back though, you also have the Air Max. The tongue is also canvas as well. Wow, that's crazy. I just noticed that just while like reviewing the sneaker with you guys here, 
that there's no mesh completely. It's like the tongue is not even mesh. Goodness. You also got the purple swoosh right there. It looks kind of like Concord, like on the camera. Then you also got the psychic purple at the bottom and the air bubble. Now, my only little slight peeve about this. It's not a deal breaker because if it was a deal breaker, I wouldn't have bought them. It's this white soul bottom. Who thought of this, bro? Who thought of this? Uh, as far as putting a white soul on here, um, I'm going to just say this. Out of all the soul colors, now, out of all the soul colors, I probably would have went with a gum bottom. A gum bottom would have looked good on this. A black bottom would have looked good on this. Uh, and maybe a psychic purple would have looked good at the bottom too. It looked a little bit more colorful. Like why to be last in the color palette to put on this man? But we're we're walking on the soles anyway, so you know y'all know how that go. Typical Air Max 97 bottom, typical traction. With this one though, I feel like the Air Max 97 is a canvas, and the colorway is basically telling the story on this joint, and that's basically it. Not too much, nothing else. Uh, this is my first time actually having a purple air bubble too, an air unit. Can't wait to do it on foot with you guys. Definitely putting these on with all black. At least on the on foot that you guys are going to see, I'm going to have on black pants, whether it's black jeans or black joggers. I've already seen them already, and they is flames. Nobody's really reviewing the sneaker, man. With all the hype and everything, you know. Y'all know what it is. Typical Air Max 97 bill. You got the engraved swooshes on the back. Uh, can you guys see that? Right here. Now, I will say that the Air Max 97, since it's a uh, big release in 2017, um, they have been uh, overdone as far as like colorways and stuff like that. Um, that's basically it with that. Uh, YouTube keep uh like they keep trying to restrict my my on foots. You know I'm a, I'm gonna keep it up long enough for my subs and everybody to see. But man, if if I can't get if I can't if I can't do what I need to if my on foots can't do what they need to do for the people, what they do what they do for the people, they need to also do for me too. As far as my video, my on foots and YouTube gonna restrict me, man. They might not last that long, man. On uh, I might just put them up for you guys, for my main subs to see, or you know, for a week, and then just probably like take them down. No point of putting them up if I'm not gonna get paid for my time. I mean, I'm not being money hungry, but goodness, I could be doing some digital marketing right now, right? I just peeped that this lighter is like the same color as this, though. I like that club purple or psychic purple. But anyway, though, <clears throat> just to round all this off, what do you guys think? I get more of that hippies, uh, hippies like vibe from this. Uh, sh watercolor, psychic. That psychic purple starting to stick with me now. Um, it tells the story, man. It's just like a one of them sherbet ice creams. Um, definitely fun. This is one of those sneakers that, like, you know, when I when I go and buy sneakers. Tell me, God, tell me what you guys think too below. I want that sneaker to make me just really go like, wow. You know what I mean? And that's one of these sneakers. Uh, that's what the sneaker did. And a few of them, uh, most of them do that in my collection. Some of them might be subtle. Some of them might be loud like this. Uh, but that wow factor that, to me, that I like, definitely worth it. Again, these are not hype. You can pick these up anywhere. But try to make sure you get them for the deal. Uh, they going for full price in certain areas, but it's up to you. Depends on your money and your wallet. 180 might not be a lot to you, but me, I buy so many sneakers throughout the year that to me it warrants the deal. Cause I'm, a, I know I'ma buy another Air Max. Look, like this, I needed this for uh, what, a little less than seventy dollars or whatever. But with this one, um, I'm, I didn't pay 180. I think I paid 130 or something like that. 120 or 130 something like that and you know because i already know i'm gonna get another nike you know what i mean so rate comment and subscribe and look at my previous videos as well look at the 
this video as well. My other Air Maxes, Puma, all that. Um, I don't know if I got clothing coming up next, but um, very uh, blessed today, though, man. Thank, thank y'all for watching everything, though, man. Very appreciative of what I got and everything. Uh, Fly and Flames. Do it in style. Maybe I can get a better picture with it like this. There we go. Right in focus. Peace, though, man.